I thought it would be a great idea to come on out and try to find myself a place to fly where I'm not going to get in trouble. Um, I've picked a pretty far away place. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try the new Mavic Pro feature, the fixed wing mode, where the Mavic will continue flying forward while you can steer it and stuff. And I kind of like an airplane, but we'll see. I'll record the whole thing and you let me know what you think. I don't know. I don't really think it's a feature I'm going to use too much. Um, I think it might be kind of fun maybe to kind of, depending on how responsive it is and, and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try out this fixed wing mode. So here we go. We're going to go into the menu. We are going into the controller. You need to go into the controller. You need to click on configure fixed wing mode. And now close that down. So now once we go in into flight, fixed wing mode is enabled and now it literally flies kind of like an airplane. So you only need your left stick to fly around. I'm not touching the throttle at all. to go C2. I was uh, getting a little bit of glare on my screen here so I actually can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna walk into the shade here for a sec. There, that's better. Um, there's a bit of a radius when you're trying to turn so I, I'm sitting in the middle in a dike above water so I didn't feel like trying to bank and end up banking right into uh, right into the side of the mountain here. Okay, so here I'm going to try this again. So basically what you want to do is you want to throttle forward so that you're cruising forward. Then you can click, once you get up to the speed you want to maintain, that's when you can click the C1. Now I'm in fixed wing mode. The throttle is automatic. I'm actually going to come flying by myself here in a second. Now, if I bank to the left, you'll see it. It tilts, the whole horizon tilts, just like in an airplane. And if you can do this nice and smooth, you can probably manage some pretty neat shots. There was a little jerky there. I think I think that there's still some work to be done in the software, but it's kind of neat, I guess. All right, I'm going to try a hard bank, see how it does when I do a I think there's like birds flying around my drone right now. C2, C2, C2. Okay, so you see that? The one thing about the throttle always going forward is it doesn't stop. So you can see I was pretty darn close to hitting the dike there. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to put it, get up to speed. I'm going into fixed wing mode. You just press the C2 button to disable it. See, that's something you want to be ready to disable at any time. So we're going to fly again. Now, can I raise my altitude? Oh, you fly up. Okay, so to fly up and gain altitude, you fly just like an airplane and push the left stick forward. And that'll get you your altitude while still maintaining. And... Now I'll bank to the right. I'm going to do a hard bank to the right. So as you can see, the whole horizon tilts just like in an airplane. And I think if you get really good at this and you, you're nice and smooth with your shot, you can kind of get a really neat... get a really neat shot flying around here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fly the other way now. And I see myself there. Okay, now I'm actually going to try and fly down. So it tips the whole nose down. Okay, so let's go C1. I'm going to switch into that mode right now. And I'm going to dive down towards the water and hopefully not...
Whoa. Try and gain some altitude here. I'm still in the same mode, as you can see by the gimbal movement. I'm actually going to fly by myself. I want to see if the Mavic itself actually tilts or if it's just gimbal magic that it's doing. Because I think that's what's going on. It's manipulating uh, the gimbal to create that smooth mo motion shot. So here I'm going to rotate. It does bank a bit. The Mavic actually banks a bit when you're turning. But when you go up, it literally just goes up, up nice and level. It's literally the gimbal itself that's probably looking up. It's actually actually kind of a neat uh, a neat mode, I think. And if, like I said, if you have a nice smooth shot, diving towards myself, the, it is literally coming down nice and level. And it's still maintaining its forward motion. But there is some definitely some uh, some bugs in the software. It de definitely gets a little jerky. It looks like it exited out of that mode automatically some for some reason. Okay, I'm in the frame. Let me see. So I literally flew out, and I'm actually going to try and turn this around. I don't know if you can see it banking in the sky. It's a little bit small when it gets that far away, so I don't think we'll see it in the other camera. There, it exited out all by itself again. Uh, no warning, no nothing, it just literally exited out. So like I said, I mean, it's a new feature. I'm sure that uh, as they develop the software a bit, they'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm gonna look at myself. I'm gonna come straight towards myself and try to dive bomb right in front of the camera and not crash. Let's see if that's possible. Okay, so I think what kicks it out is it, it's almost like the sensors are detecting... Um, I'm just going to land this for a second here. I think what it is is that the, um, the sensors are picking up something and then as soon as it detects an obstacle, it automatically shuts the mode off and uh, doesn't let, you know, just to ensure for safety that you don't smash into a wall, right? So. Not really sure if the best bet is to try and like turn that mode off, like to turn off all your uh, vision sensors, because I don't know. Anyways, let's fly this thing around a bit. Yeah, the action of a of the fixed wing mo mode is so that one. That, okay, so that mode right there, that that shot that I just did, that was the regular way the Maverick operates. I'm actually gonna flip it to fixed wing mode and try to fly that exact same path or very similar path, and see because I I think the shot would be a lot smoother in the fixed wing mode. Um, but let's see. It it really is gonna come down to the obstacles uh, whether it sees anything. If you're really good at flying, you could probably turn it off and get away with it. But here we go. I'm going to give this a shot right now, and let's hopefully I hope, hope I can make this happen. 
Okay, I'm in fixed wing mode now. It is not letting me. Um, oh yeah, it's gone. Okay, so it is in fixed wing mode right now. Albeit going extremely slow. Okay, I'm going to exit out. I'm going to back this right up here. Uh, I'm not going to back it up. I'm going to turn around and fly with the sensors forward so I don't run into anything. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> that was scary. Almost. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going to give myself a little bit of height. I feel like it's detecting the ground and shutting it off. So let's see if we can do this again. And here we go. Hmm. It's something when I let go of my throttle. Maybe it's because I'm not going fast enough yet. All right, let's give this a whirl. Here we go. I'm gonna try this in three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna focus. Here we go. Straight towards the pole. I'm gonna bank away from it. Definitely gives you kind of a neat shot, that's for sure. Um, like I said, it's not a steady shot unless you're really fine with the turn. You want to go nice and wide to have a nice smooth shot. So I'm doing a big turn right now. I mean, it needed quite the radius. Low battery warning. And there's the battery warning. Tell me what you think of the difference between fixed wing mode and GPS mode. So, I mean, we're literally flying like this in fixed wing mode and then GPS mode, we're flying like this and we, you know, we're hovering and getting cool shots. Um, is it a useful feature or not? I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like the feel of flying, flying my drone, actually flying my drone. Um, it does have some little quirks to it. Anyways, if you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more videos, click the subscribe button. And if you want to let me know how I'm doing, drop me a comment in the comment section. I will read them. I will respond to them. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I will see you next time.